What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with another one. Yes sir, The Art of Osiris on Pantheon. Man, this is a long game guys and I'm going to tell you guys right now, there is no pretty ending to this. But the reason why I upload clips and games like this, however, as you can see it is on the live stream. So for those of you who watch this game live, you know the hurting we felt when we lost this game. We still had the mercy, so it was not that big of a deal. And we did go on to complete this passage as we are helping viewers of the stream get to the lighthouse. Keep that in mind, guys. We don't, we don't, I mean, this is not to be cocky or anything, but TKO, when we play as a three man God Squad team, we don't lose passages. We don't fail going to the lighthouse. But when we play with someone that we're trying to help to the lighthouse, we do sometimes lose, but hey, with TKO Gaming, we always guarantee your lighthouse run. We will get you to the lighthouse no matter what, even if we have to restart the card. It's not that big of a deal, and we do take it upon ourselves for failing. So, as you guys can see, we have such a solid game. The teamwork was fantastic. It was great all the way up until the end where we just dropped the ball. And big, big shout out to the other team who actually made a really good comeback on us, even though we are helping somebody out. I still do take fault in this. I didn't lead my team to the best of my abilities on this map. Um, so yeah, I do apologize you guys. But hey, it's okay. We got to the lighthouse and let our mistakes, let my mistakes in this video be a learning lesson for everybody who's watching, right? So you guys don't go forward and make the same mistakes. So as you can see, it is Pantheon. We do have red side spawn. As you guys know that there are three top map lanes and then there's one lane on heavy which we call the heavy lane. Right now this is the waterfall lane or right lane. Then there's the middle lane where the GameCube is. That's that big square box in the middle. And then you have um, the left lane uh, which would be the waterfall lane. I don't know why I said three. I guess there's just three lanes total in general. but. You know, I'm using the Shades app. I don't even use Shades app that often, but I have found it to be a great, great, great class to use. Um, it's hands down my favorite class to use, and I really do think that that was an awesome quick scope kill, by the way. I just want to go ahead and toot my own horn there. Um, but I do want to say that, um, you know, this class is, is such a great class to use when it comes to just helping people get to the lighthouse. You can really take on teams and not, not just one person not just two people but teams with this class so it's it makes it really really um easy especially with shade step and um if you play claw or have a scuff controller it's all great it's all fantastic so as you guys know i'm using the the last word as my primary my thousand yard stare with short gaze as my secondary and my heavy ammo should be heavy ammo but i'm just using a sword because i'm a stupid noob um but regardless um, you know we're we're making we're making work on this map, guys. Like I I, I want to tell you guys my strategies on this map, so you guys can actually go ahead and take it and utilize it in regular Crucible, not just Trials of Osiris. So what I like to do is I like to send the sniper. Usually it's me on the team, but I always like to send the sniper to the right lane. All right, the right lane is usually a very popular place from the start, from the beginning. Who knows? Maybe they come, maybe they don't. You never know. But. I always like to send the sniper over to the right lane, and I like to send the other two people in groups. You know, usually in TKO gaming we have one person paired up to help you, um, and so you, we, you know, your job is pretty much to just stay with him and work together. And the sniper, his job obviously on the team is to drop an orb, and everyone then collapse on collapses on that orb. So uh, I always go to the right lane unless I know that they're not coming to the right lane and they're just going to the middle lane. Now, if they do go to the middle lane, I go and help my team out as well. Hopefully, get the lanes across. Um, you know, sometimes you get out sniped. Oh well. Some it, the whole point about it is not really to get out sniped. It's about pretty much who gets to that lane first and then who hard scopes across, right? Yeah, if they're not too great of a sniper, you can actually out snipe them by getting their late sliding boom, quick slide shot, quick scope. You know, 360. Oh yeah, all day. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can, but the point is to get there as fast as you can. And with the shade step, I can't get there as fast. But usually when I run the arc blade, I can get there uh, faster. But I like using the shade step because obviously you have the shutdown super as well, the tether shuts down the opposing team supers. Plus you have shade step, and the smoke grenade is just absolutely OP. It's amazing. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not about that whole oh this class is OP, that class is OP. I don't really care. Use whatever class you want. If you guys know the tournaments that TKO Gaming plays in, in and we do live stream them, 
the rule is you can only have one of each subclass, so it's fine, you know? At least we won't have three Shade Steppers or three Solar Warlocks running with Viking Funeral. Like, that would just be stupid OP, but, you know, it, there's ways to balance it out. And with this new uh, special ammo change coming up uh, in Destiny, I don't know how to feel about that, guys. Um, Destiny is in dire need of new content, and I think Bungie should really focus on the PvE aspect of Destiny because that's what it was intended for. This is not a PvP primary game. I know they're trying to dip into both word or worlds, like trying to be Hannah Montana and get the best of both worlds. I understand that, but Bungie, please, I've been a diehard fan of you, of you guys. I'm in Seattle, so please notice me one day, Senpai, please. But other than that, I've been a diehard fan of you guys since Halo 1. I've be, I've loved what you guys have created i know you guys are capable of creating amazing 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 games but don't drop the ball I, i'm still gonna support you i'm still gonna play destiny i'm freaking love this game i'm addicted am i gonna play the division yes and will i be putting youtube content out for the division yes I, that's all stuff that's going to happen but i'm not gonna give up on destiny i love this game too much to give up on it i think the community of this game is hands down one of the best as well um another thing you guys want to notice in trials of osiris is very important about the revives that you get so here i'm trying to do some crazy shit like with the shades look look at that man like the shade step it's not only a shutdown super of uh, the shadow shot but it's also a pretty good offensive super and I, I i run quiver and you know i've learned i learned a little bit from different people but i've learned a lot about shade step from my brother he's an absolute god with uh, not shade step in general but the the night stalker class i've learned so much from him he that's his primary class that he uses so you know then i use the art class because you know we would definitely be the shade step brothers and that's what you guys will see in crimson doubles when my brother and i are playing and we will be carrying people in that as well we'll see how it goes i don't know if it's going to be like trials or not um, but we definitely have a whole point system going on and definitely for our supporters who support the stream they get their carries as well so just got to keep in mind guys that TKO Gaming we're here for the long run I may not get to stream as often or um, even put out YouTube videos but you know this is something that I'm not going to give up on um, Destiny content isn't that great and you guys know when content is just spicy I don't know why I use that word but you know when it's booming I'm there. I'm going to make all the content for you even if I don't get any sleep. You guys know that I have a full-time job. I don't give a shit. I will make content for you guys. If it helps you guys get better at this game, if it helps you guys achieve... And this, oh man, I am humbled by the way. Whenever I turn on the live stream, people from YouTube always come saying, Hey, I just want to come in. Even if you guys just stop by for two seconds, I don't give a shit. Stop by for two seconds, drop a follow if you want. And But, but when people come in and in the chat, because obviously it's a free thing on Twitch, they come into the chat and they're like, Hey, Snipes. I just want to let you know that your videos have helped my team and I finish King's Fall Raid or you helped me do this more efficiently or do that more efficiently, help me become a better Destiny player, help me get to 310, 320 light, I really appreciate it, help me in Trials of Osiris PvP. Like that literally humbles me, it melts my heart. Okay, there, right there, of uh, what you guys just saw, I should have went and re, uh, revived my teammates. I was being selfish as shit and I've effed up okay the next two rounds I want to take fault by myself I did tell my teammates what to do because I was trying to be the offensive player because I didn't want the last guy to get a super we messed up um, and I'm gonna say we as a team because you know at the end of the day that's what Trials of Osiris is all about it's all about teamwork and so that's where you know we messed up the thing is we were out killing these guys uh, at the end of the game I had an insane freaking stupid kill uh but it's once again it's all about reviving right it's about reviving your team and that's what the other team showed to be perfect by the way shade stepping once again is op as hell because of the fact that you can shade step out of axion bolts shade step out of fire bolts shade step out of uh uh what's what's that shit called skip grenades you can shade step out of anything literally anything i don't think there's anything shit. the warlock melee is the only thing that is the shade steps weakness um and maybe there's something else that I don't know about. Um, oh yeah, I guess you can stick somebody in it while they're shade seven too, but it's pretty cool. But anyways, we're so good at killing these guys, and we're so good at dropping orbs and collapsing on orbs. But then we, what we, what happens is we tend to um, just get away. You know, we we tend to run away. Like I don't even know what just happened there. Something happened. I guess some he used his quiver, and it, and the blade dancer didn't get hit. And this should be it. We should win right here. Uh, but we don't and I don't even know how because the other guy got a revive now I'm the only one left. I'm going for the revives we're, we're like yo, we need to like not bait into these guys. So what that guy did was great He ran away and he just uh, you know baited us got a revive and got away while the guy who revived No one focused on him and then he killed him. So 
here this round I could have ended it and I thought I was going to you know I killed that guy we're going around this is great I'm, I'm dying here I'm trying my best to not die but there's about 10 seconds left the other team did a really smart move they just said F it we're not gonna be able to kill this guy let's just go uh, to the middle like I'm trying my best this game like uh, this is one of the first games that we started playing too I, obviously we're n n near the end of the card I think it's seven wins but I quickly get that revive there's about you know it's already in overtime I tether both of them and I choke on my snipe shots my teammates couldn't get there fast uh, fast enough either and we just lost and it's just crazy how this team came back and beat us as you guys already know and it's just a learning experience we made sure that no other team was able to do this later on um, but you know it's just it sucks games like this suck it's not so much so that we lost it's really how we lost we had we were up 4-1 on them and we just let them come back and beat us it was nuts and you know obviously we're not gonna ever let that again happen again um but oh well maybe you guys can learn from our mistakes just keep in mind guys a mid control mid, mid map control and lane control on this map is very very important no matter what you play no matter what playlist it is mid map control where that gamecube is what you see on the screen it's very very important so as you guys go forward whenever you play this map make sure your team knows that make sure you guys are all on the same page and let's just make sure and look at that all these people just following and joining the tko family on twitch i really appreciate you guys we're on our road to the sub button almost at 10k uh followers on twitch that would be awesome if you guys can go help out with that i remember when the youtube was uh just reaching uh, 10k followers that was pretty awesome um but yeah guys uh, at the end of the day um you know great players are those that when they lose they learn from their mistakes and they just get better no one's the best at destiny um, there's no such thing, but those who improve and learn from their mistakes are definitely up there. Now, look at this. Can you guys believe this? I can't believe we lost. That, this guy, I wish I was running Arcblade. I choked there. I couldn't kill him. This guy is a freaking ninja running around. Gets a revive. That guy had a Nova Bomb. He's probably calling out to his teammate. Yo, have a Nova Bomb. Pick me up. And then I get my butt kicked here. So that's right guys i love putting out videos that you guys can learn from yeah i choked at the end i did my best dropped 18 kills but i do appreciate you guys for those of you who say i suck yeah i do this game i definitely dropped the ball next game i won't i will get better for my team so thank you guys so much big shout out to beach cowboy 12 by the way for the 250 dollars donation for the top monthly donator you are freaking awesome man you don't understand how much that helps i really appreciate you guys i hope everybody else comes checks out that sh live stream if you want to see more art of osiris drop like two likes on this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button snipes is out guys please stay blessed thank you peyton manning for all that you've done you're a great quarterback but seahawks will be in the super bowl next year baby congrats to the broncos and uh thank you guys once again for all that you do i will see you in the next video snipes is out stay blessed peace